Hello there, children of God. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord because he who watches over you neither sleeps nor slumbers. And so as we round up with October and get ready for November, rest assured that you have a 24 hour, 7 days a week surveillance of the heavenly host. Hallelujah. As usual, we are very delighted to have you with us on Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reed. We heartily thank you all for all that you have done to get us to where we are and to, for all that you will continue to do to take us to where God wants us to be. We pray that as you continue to do so, may you never lack help. May you always meet your destiny helpers who will take you to your next level in Jesus' name. It is common knowledge that salvation is made possible because Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. And so if you have not yet made that determinant decision, that decision that will determine where you will spend eternity, beloved in the Lord, make no delay for the clock is ticking and ticking fast. Hallelujah. We've also been able to deliberate on several topics from slots 1 to 95. The last being the fact that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and that those who are for you are more than those who are against you. And so don't minimize yourself. Don't underlook yourself because you can do it. And also we should not use the blessings of God, our status quo, our intellect, our anointing and all that we can think of to underestimate the people around us because the people around us might just be the bearers of the solution to our situations. And that because one with God has always been majority and all without God has always been minority. Don't underestimate anyone, especially one with God. Hallelujah. On that note, today in slot 96, we are encouraging ourselves to dare to be different. Hallelujah. We have as main passage Genesis chapter 37 from verse 1 to 4, where the Bible tells us of a story of a character called Joseph. The Bible presents him to us as a 17-year-old young man who stood out, who was always going to report the wrong deeds of his brothers to his father. In the word there, you see that he's take, you are taking a risk, you are making an effort, you are getting out of your comfort zone to be different in the way you talk, in the way you act, in the way you react, in the way you dress, in the people you mingle with, in the places you go to. Hallelujah. And so because Joseph was able to remember his creator in the days of his youth, as we are told in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1, don't look at yourself as being only a youth because you can make the difference even at your young age. And by the way, this is an appeal to the parents out there to pray for grace not to discriminate amongst their children. Even if you love one child more than the others because of circumstances beyond your control, pray for grace not to show it openly so that this will not trigger strife jealousy, envy amongst your children. Hallelujah. And so we see other Bible characters who dared to be different. Rahab was a prostitute in Joshua chapter 2 from verse 1 to 21. She took the risk of lying that she had, the spies had left her house. But because she dared to be different, her family was saved. Rahab got the revelation that Canaan was going to be given to the Israelites. And so she made the spies promise. My brother, my sister, don't look at your profession. Don't look at what people have tagged you. Don't look at where people have, have, have placed you and remain there. Dare to make a difference, especially in the place of prayer, especially according to the revelation of God. Hallelujah. Are you the one who is complaining about the political situation in your nation, yet you have never made an effort to go to the place of prayer to make a difference? Look at Daniel in Daniel chapter 9 from verse 1 to 19. In the place of prayer, he made a difference in his nation. And so instead of complaining about the political situation that is so wrong in your nation, go on your knees and make the difference. Hallelujah. Are you the one who has your family gods, your family idols to deal with? To stop that evil trend that keeps repeating itself in your families. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Dare to make the difference that Gideon made in Judges chapter 6 from verse 13 to 30. For Gideon had to destroy his, the gods of his father's house before he could begin to serve God effectively. Are you the one who is born out of wedlock and has been rejected by your family? Don't lose hope. Read the story of Jephthah in Judges chapter 11 from verse 2 to 32. And this will inspire you because you can be rejected today yet be called upon tomorrow. If you make the difference in the place of prayer, are you the one who is physically challenged? And you think that all hope is lost. You cannot serve God because you have difficulties or you have a physical disability. Read the story of the four lepers in 2 Kings chapter 7 from verse 3 to 20. They dared to be different and this brought salvation to the children of God. Are you the one who is only a woman and you think that because you have lost your inheritance or because society has tagged you 
all, all the sorts of names that they have tagged you, there is no hope for you. Read the story of Zelophehad's daughters in Numbers chapter 27. They were denied their inheritance, where they made the difference in the place of prayer. And they finally got their inheritance. When you dare to be different, you will not be liked by many people. You will be despised by many people. But don't give up because those who despise you today will so come looking for you tomorrow for solution to their situations. And so if you are out there and you are yet to have it right with God, just say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Give me the power to live right and the power to hate sin. And behold, you are a child of God. Behold, you are making a difference that will make a difference in your life. Beloved in the Lord, dare to be different on behalf of your family, amongst your friends, on behalf of your nation, in your place of work, and wherever you find yourself, dare to be different. The Bible remains the road, Jesus the code, sin the obstacle, and heaven the destination. Shalom.